Hey, what's going on guys, Maro here. I know it's been a while since I've um, uploaded a video and there's a reason for this. It's it's kind of a weird one. I just wanted to give you guys an update. I will be uploading more videos. I am currently working on a few, um, but there's just something that's been damping my creativity a little bit. Now there's not much of a script to this. I'm just kind of rambling. So I'm really sorry. There's no, there's no really a script to this. It's just something I needed to talk to you about or talk in general and let you guys know because you 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 do deserve to know I've got about 5,000 subscribers which is great it's insane that I've got 5,000 people who have subscribed and want to watch me <clears throat> talk about shit and, and do some weird stuff it, it, it's crazy for those of you who aren't aware living under a rock a rock there's a situation going on right now with Israel Palestine um where there there's a massive there's a <clears throat> I'll just say how it is, and if the video gets removed, it gets removed. There's a massive ethnic cleansing going on right now in Palestine, in, in Gaza specifically, but it's happening now in the West Bank and in, in a lot of other places. Um, it's it's a case of a lot of people, Palestinians, are getting brutally uh, murdered. Missiles are being launched at them. There's a collective punishment for what happened on October 7th uh, going on, and... Uh, it's not a lot of people talking about it either. And this channel, I haven't spoken about, about it on this channel because it's not a political channel. I've spoken about it on stream a bit. Um, but this isn't a political ch channel. It's supposed to be a gaming channel. So I didn't want to talk about it too much. But when I thought about it, I ha felt I had I have to talk about it because it's it's one of the cases of if I just go on Twitter and I go and I, and I search and I look through my feed, it's just full of casualties, Palestinian casualties. Um, specifically, it's full of uh, stories of, of of people who did not sign up for a fight, people who have been living in an open-air prison for years, 75 years to be exact, and um, Israel telling people to, to evacuate north and go to the south while bombing the convoys that are, that, are, that are evacuating or completely cutting off their internet, electricity, and water, which are big war crimes, by the way. And I keep thinking to myself, because if you don't know, I'm ethnically Egyptian. Uh, Egypt, Sudan, and Palestine, a long time ago, used to be one coalition of com uh, countries. It used to be one big country governed by the same uh, leadership. So there, in my ancestry, there's a lot of Palestinian heritage. There's a lot of Su Sudanese heritage as well as Egyptian heritage. So when I see my heritage being essentially wiped out, um, it's tough for me to then look at myself making a video, like a try not to laugh video. And while I'm editing it, I'm seeing myself having fun when my distant relatives are being bombed, uh, denied the basics of human rights, denied, uh, and, and when, when the majority of the world leaders shamelessly look on and do nothing actually they do opposite of nothing they support the genocide by saying it's israel's right to defend itself now look i'm not going to go into the geopolitics of it if you want to go to talk to someone if you want to look at you know the absolute geopolitics of it you can there are lots of videos out there that do a better job than i ever will of explaining it i'll probably do more damage than good by trying to explain it but the problem is is you can't defend yourself against babies children women and old people those are the majority of casualties half of the casualties of the palestinian are children now you don't have to be uh, a genius to figure out that this is not israel defending itself especially since it started targeting the west bank as well the west bank has no hamas uh fighters there so to to say that they are defending themselves while bombing the west bank it's crazy. What we can see is a is a is a second Nakba. It's a se it's it's an ethnic cleansing of my people. Uh, it's a second eth cleansing of of my distant cousins. So while I watch that, and believe me, with like <clears throat> if you can hear from my voice right now, you might think I'm sick. I'm not sick. I've been out protesting. I've been out marching. Um, and by the way, I just want to say this as well out clear. Um, criticizing Israeli genocide is not anti-Semitism. I just want to make that very crystal clear. I have nothing against Jewish people. In fact, I have, I have, I have. We have good relations with Jewish people. As 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 a Muslim myself, we believe in the same uh, deity, the same God. We believe uh, in in mostly the same scriptures. 
our our meat that we eat halal and kosher they're, they're very very much the same we can eat kosher meat they i'm pretty sure they can eat halal meat as well so so a lot of our cultures a lot of our religion is is intertwined right that's uh judaism right now zionism is a completely different thing zionism is not judaism zionism is a sect of judaism you could say it's an extreme sect of judaism that that, that is taken to to the point where zionists believe in in a sense that they are chosen by god and every other every other religion race whatever is inferior uh and that's not my saying you can go and look it up it's it's genuinely you can go look it up that is that is part of the zionism manifesto right so when i criticize israel the zionists when i criticize israeli genocide i am not anti-semitic that is not anti-semitism it's the same as how when people used to criticize isis it's the same when people criticized Al Qaeda for when when the bombing of the Twin Towers happened. Criticizing those groups does not equal Islamophobia, is what we a lot of people have said, and it's fine to do that. Apparently, it's fine. It's also fine to criticize Muslims and to ask us as Muslims to condemn uh, Islamist extremists. But when it comes to Zionism and Zionism genocide, like the genocide of of Arabs from a, from 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 the Zionist, if you if you look at Israel, it's on the is is on the Israel Twitter page, when where they advertise how they how they indiscriminately kill Palestinians, right? Criticizing them for some reason makes people lose their jobs. I might lose my job for making this video, but I don't care at this point. It's 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 a point where if I don't speak up, I'm complicit. So I have spoken about up about it. I've tried to speak up about it, and it's not anti-Semitic to speak up against uh, genocide. I don't know where that. Uh, narrative is being pushed it's a dangerous narrative because there are in the marches that i've been to specifically there have been a lot of jewish people that have come to to stand in solidarity with palestinians because they do not believe in genocide right um so like i said so so where is this all going the reason why i haven't uploaded any videos yet is every time i've tried to edit because i'm doing my own editing and i'm looking at myself and i i feel disgusted with myself editing um a try not to laugh challenge or editing me having fun there's a there's a tweet i read um and and it's a verified source tweet as well where a boy a young boy um after the bombings woke up to find his leg t clean off completely t clean off from from after the bombings and he said he was upset because um he, he enjoyed playing football <laughs> that was that was that was why he was upset and it's it made me feel horrific because um, I live in a country where I'm allowed to dream. I live in a country where I'm allowed to work towards my dreams, my goals. And this young boy had his whole life stripped from him. Maybe not dead, but his dream is dead. His dream to play his favorite game is dead. His dream to enjoy his time with his friends is dead simply because he chose to exist in Gaza or in the West Bank. And, and, and there, are, there are thousands of them, thousands of these stories. Um, so it feels wrong for me to try and make videos to entertain people. It feels wrong trying to edit uh, myself having fun. When I go on Twitter and I scroll through and I see all of this, bloodshed this violence seeing people i can't do anything i physically feel powerless to try and stop it's crazy to see how in every country you go to there are marches right now and they're not being broadcast on public media Five hundred thousand people were at london's march last saturday and i was there it was incredibly it was it was huge it was it was the biggest protest i'd seen in probably my entire life um and to see that it was not even broadcast on national news to see that the plight of the palestinians of the of the gazan people are not just the gazan people sorry people from from the west bank as well i keep saying this they're being bombed indiscriminately hospitals mosques uh places of worship uh, yeah, like th these are all being bombed uh with the excuse that there are Hamas um, operatives operating there. So I've got a question actually for Israel. If if you knew that there are Hamas operatives 
hiding in Israeli uh, settlement and settlements in your buildings? Would you bomb those buildings? Would you subjugate your people to hellfire to try and eradicate these operatives? That's my question, because you can't use the you cannot use the excuse that you're defending yourself. That's gone too political. I get it, but I have to speak up, and I am very disappointed in a lot of content creators who have massive audiences who could talk about this to these to the audience but they choose not to they choose to be silent they choose to talk about amaranth and her disgusting new uh product i'm not going to talk about it because it's too disgusting but they choose to talk about that or they choose to talk about a some some another gun violence in america which again it's, it's bad obviously gun violence in america is bad but you can make two videos you can make a video to talk about the palestinian plight and you don't have to do a lot of research you don't have to 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 to, to look too much into it to to see what's going on i mean I'd, I'd implore you to do your research that's obviously the best thing to do but no one spoke speaking about it that have not no one most of the content creators that I've, that I've sort of watched or followed, they don't speak about it, and I'm really disappointed in that. Um, I do, I, did, I expected better. You guys have a, a massive influence. You kind of have a, a duty to to speak and say, say something about it. To say that you're just a dumb streamer that doesn't understand politics. Sorry, um, I bang my bang my microphone there. Um, that's not. It's not an excuse because you don't need to understand politics to understand genocide. To see that there is a genocide happening. And so that's sort of the moral moral way of saying it's okay for me to stream, but it's difficult for me to make a video to edit myself um, and look at myself in disgust and see how I'm I'm able to to make to to it's difficult to put into words. All I'm thinking about is how many how many mutilated people I've seen and how many uh, how much bloodshed there is and how many stories I've read of 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 just just innocent people um and 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 bloodlines just just getting wiped out it it's it's really it's really tough i feel like i just want to scream into an abyss um but it's yeah so that's that's it that's the update um i will i will be uploading um i just got to find a way to reconcile what's what's happened uh, there's the new Valorant season that's come out, so we'll we'll be looking at that. I was gonna make a video on Sniper Wolf, but I think that ship has sailed, so we won't be we won't be doing that. I it, again, it felt like you know making a video on Sniper Wolf. Yes, yeah, she committed a crime, and I was gonna make a video about that, but it just felt so insignificant in the grand scheme of things. With a with a with a literal. With one of the biggest genocides of of modern history happening right now, um, before our eyes, and there's nothing I can do about it. So, so that's it. I think I've rambled on for too long. Um, if you enjoyed, the, oh, I don't want to even. I was gonna go with the the YouTube exit. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. It's so silly. I don't. I don't. That's not. That's not it. I don't. I didn't. It's not a video for for you guys to enjoy. It's just a video to update you on what's going on. Um, but um, yeah, that's that's really about it. Uh, I'll see you next one. I guess. Peace. Oh, and free Palestine. I think I think I think I'm just gonna end my videos on that free Palestine.